सो एवर सिंस यू टेकिन दैट होम लोन यू बीन वंडरिंग अगर एक्स्ट्रा पैसा आया तो प्रीपेमेंट करूँ या नहीं करूँ और अगर किया भी तो ई एम आई रेड्यूस करूँ या फिर टेन ईयर वेल द आंसर इफ यू हैव एक्स्ट्रा मनी देन ऑलवेज रेड्यूस टेन ईयर बट विद द राइज इन रेपो रेट्स इफ योर मंथली ई एम आई इज नाउ बियॉन्ड योर कंट्रोल देन एंड ओनली देन इन दैट रेयर केस यू कैन लुक इन टू रेड्यूसिंग योर ई एम आई नाउ टू द मेन पार्ट हाउ मच विल योर ई एम आई रेड्यूज इफ यू डू अ सर्टन अमाउंट ऑफ फ्री पेमेंट और हाउ मच विल योर टेन ईयर रेड्यूज इफ यू डू अ सर्टन अमाउंट ऑफ फ्री पेमेंट फॉर दैट देर इज अ वेरी सिंपल ऐप दैट यू कैन ईजिली फाइंड ऑन द प्ले स्टोर सो द ऐप गोज बाय द नेम एज ई एम आई प्लस कैलकुलेटर वॉन्स यू ओपन द ऐप यू कैन जस्ट एंटर द प्रिंसिपल अमाउंट टेक फॉर एग्जाम्पल यूर फोर्टी लैक्स एंटर द अमाउंट ऑफ इंटरेस्ट यूर इन दिस एग्जाम्पल विल पुट एट परसेंट एंड एड इन द टेन ईयर लेस टेक ट्वेंटी ईयर्स वंस डन यू कैन चूज वेन द लोन एक्चुअली स्टार्टेड टू गेट अ ओवरऑल पिक्चर Now, what you see on the top left corner is your monthly EMI that you will be paying in this scenario. In this case, it's thirty-three thousand four fifty-eight. You can see how much goes towards principal, which is forty lakhs, and how much interest you are paying. The entire breakdown can then be seen on the next page, which divides the entire per month EMI into principal, interest, total payment, and your outstanding balance. Now, say you do a prepayment for which you want to reduce your EMI. Now, how do you calculate how much EMI you will now have to pay after you do, say, a prepayment of two lakhs? So, say you've done a prepayment of two lakhs, so your now principal balance will be thirty-eight lakhs. So now, as you can see in the top left corner, your new EMI that you will have to pay monthly will be thirty-one thousand seven eighty-five. It's an easy way to calculate a reducing EMI by paying prepayments. As you can see in this app, it also gives you a monthly breakdown. Like per month, how much are you paying towards principal? How much towards interest and the outstanding balance? Now, say you don't want to reduce your EMI, but you want to do a prepayment and reduce your tenure. So you can simply click on Add Part Prepayment, choose one time only or monthly or yearly, which of options is feasible for you. Choose the month that you do the prepayment and add it. As you can see, it's added below. You can see how significantly the interest component has now reduced compared to what it was without doing any prepayments. If you want to see how much is your tenure reduced, you can do that as well by scrolling to the bottom, which will show you your new end year and where your entire prepayment amount or your entire te- loan tenure now ends. In this case, although it was a twenty-year loan that we took before, you can now see that it ends in twenty thirty-seven, May of twenty thirty-seven. Say in another example, let's go and do a part prepayment of just one lakh instead of three lakhs. Click on Add Part Prepayment, choose one time only. Put one lakh. Choose the month that you will be doing that prepayment, and hit add. Now you have done a total prepayment of four lakhs in this example, and you can see it gets added in the subsequent month, and this has further reduced your total interest. Your end objective should always be to reduce the overall interest that you are paying the bank on for your home loan. The more prepayments that you do, the faster that you close your loan, the lesser interest that you will pay the bank. Now there are many apps that are available on Play Store, but this one was the far the best I've ever come across. I'll leave the link in the description, and I hope this video was helpful for you guys. For any questions, feel free to hit me up on the comment section.